share your blessings and give back. Tom Rinaldi joins us right now again with a story that shows a little kindness to someone in need can sometimes lead to something much bigger. Right, Tom? Absolutely, Kurt. You know, when you think about it, to give is to share. And that's what one former Detroit Lions player believes. And that's what led him a few years ago to share a bit of his time and a simple cup of coffee with a homeless stranger. And that act of kindness carried farther than either could have ever imagined. For him just to sit down next to me and have a cup of coffee with me, he thought he was just doing a random act of kindness. When he did that, it changed my life. A seventh round pick of the Detroit Lions in 2009, Zach Follett announced himself to the NFL with a single hit. I ran through the lane and Danny Amendola hit the juke and when he went to turn, By his second season, Follett had gone from practice squad to starting linebacker. That all changed on one play in 2010. I just remember the trainer coming in and saying, do you feel this? And I didn't feel it. This is it. Like, I'm going to be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. Like, that's the fear. Follett regained full feeling a short time later, but the trauma to his neck and spine cost him the rest of the season and ultimately his career. Ah, uh, man. Lost. Lost. If I'm not Zach the football player, who am I? And what do I say? What do I do? What am I going to do with my life? Because football is done. <laughs> Turn home to Central California and guided by his religious faith started a business called Cup of Joy. You gotta ditch the football player identity. Now I'm just a Christian coffee shop owner and it's, it's a life change. But we all speak coffee. It is the median that can be used to connect people. A year later on his way to the shop, a homeless man with a sign caught Follett's eye. The next morning, he returned with a cup of coffee. I was standing on the street corner. This guy comes up to me and asks me if he can have a cup of coffee with me. But I was kind of sh shocked because a lot of times I'm invisible to people. He sat down. Why know what, what, what happened to me and how did I get there? Tommy Alejandrez got there as a man who worked as a tax preparer for H&R Block, developed a drug dependency, then lost his job, and his home, and his identity. I was completely lost. I slept behind dumpsters. I slept on the side of the highway. I slept in places where I, I never thought I would sleep. I didn't recognize them because you know that the disease, it'll take you, tear you apart. I'm sitting there on that street with him and to hear this guy's heart and like he has a good soul tommy has a good soul Follett listened and then helped taking alejandres to buy shoes and clothes and food i want to believe that i touched his heart and he did make a difference i had shoes i didn't have shoes you know um, i had stuff to eat he saw me but most people don't prayed over him, told him, told him that Jesus loved him, and I'm gone, off into my world. It was a year later when Follett got a Facebook message from Tommy, telling Zach he'd left the corner, gotten sober, and enrolled in college. He said, uh, you coming and giving me value that day was exactly what I needed in order to get off the streets. Within a day or two, he uh, overnighted me a, a Chromebook. Without that laptop, I, I wouldn't have been able to do the things that I did. This past spring, Alejandres gave the graduation speech at Cabrillo Community College. 
Today you no longer push a shopping cart, I push books and have a thirst for knowledge. My past experiences are what drive me to work harder and become successful in life. He's now at UC Santa Cruz on scholarship with a work-study job. 150 miles from the corner in Fresno, where he first met Zach. Today I can say that he's family. Um, <clears throat> I owe a lot to him. This month, at our invitation, Tommy came back to meet Zach in person for the first time since that first cup of coffee six years ago. Big Tommy. Hey! What's up, my brother? Oh, man. Oh, my God, bro. It's so good to see you, man. I can't just explain how proud I am of you. The perseverance. Uh, I'm looking to shop right now. So I mean, this is a dream. Your family. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, uh, bro, we meet again over a cup of coffee. Nice. I'm no longer living on the streets because he saw me as a person. Proud of you, man. Thanks. It changed my life. Mm, that's good. That's nice. I want another drink. <laughs> Tommy Alejandrez is majoring in Latino Studies and Sociology at UC Santa Cruz while also doing outreach to other community college students who are system impacted to show them a path to higher education. If Zach Follett just missed watching this story, you'll understand why. He's out serving coffee and food to the homeless in and around Fresno on this Thanksgiving morning.